into a progression from once you've done your bridges and the floor exercises, so you know how to find your glutes. Now we're trying to use them a little bit more practically, a bit more isolated. So good old arabesque, it's a, it's a great build up for people who want to progress their, their deadlift. You're trying to get your stabilizers working at the same time. So you're standing on one leg, soft knee, and as you reach one leg back, you're taking your hands forward and then driving through your heel to come back up again. So that's the really straightforward version of it. All you're doing is you're hinging from your hip, reaching that leg back and your arms forward. If you want, you can add a couple of light weights, maybe three kilos in each hand, doing the same thing. And just reach those weights down and forward and you're holding for 10 seconds and then you're coming up. And then to build on that, you're coming down into that arabesque. And once you're at that bottom, bottom level, you rock back onto your heels as far as you can, which isn't very far, but you should nearly be falling over backwards. You hold for 10 seconds, and then on the way up, you push through your heel and drive the way up. If you're really struggling to, to use your glutes in that position, I find you can use a, a band, a TheraBand, power band, whatever you have. Just adding a little bit of pressure against your leg, which helps you to rotate your leg outwards. So you, that's another great function of the lower glutes, that external rotation control. So just a slight bit of resistance, there's really not a whole lot on that as you do your arabesque. So just in that position, trying to stop that knee pelvis from happening. So you're really working on your alignment and you should find you have no issues using those lower glutes for this action using the band. All right, so have some fun with those ones.